wanted to share my fall kitchen with you, how I've used fresh things, some natural elements, and a lot of secondhand or clearance items to make my kitchen decor very simple, minimal, and practical. So there are some things I did buy, and there are some things though that I just went and picked from my neighbors, went and picked from an apple tree, and just added it to my decor. I'm really loving the very simple. I had a very simple fall decor theme last year with the white pumpkins, the eucalyptus stems, and I'm kind of bouncing off of that as well this year. But this time I added in just a few hydrangea stems and some green apples and just pulled in some of my copper tones that I love having in the kitchen and a little yellow and mustard. So to begin with, I am gonna start over on my counter and on my built-in shelves. I love decorating these shelves, very simple and minimally, but changing them out per season. So if you saw me decorate for fall uh, a couple weeks ago, this evening fall, clean and decorate with me, I pretty much left that the same other than adding this, this teeny little faux white pumpkin here. So I have not seen any real pumpkins in our area yet. It is the beginning of September right now. So I'm hoping to be able to get some real ones to add to my decor. But I left my little thrifted copper set in the middle, an ironstone plate, a, um, a white pitcher on the top, and a white pitcher on the bottom filled with eucalyptus stems. So just very simple, and I think just streamlined cute um, that fits well on those little shelves. Then I did decorate my counters a little differently than I have before. I moved my scale that I had had in our corner where my KitchenAid mixer usually, or my KitchenAid mixer is sitting now, and just added an ironstone on there, and then this white pumpkin I think I got from Family Dollar years and years ago with like the gold on the bottom, and then I put some little twinkle lights around it because I think that will just add that glow and ambiance in the evening. And fall time, winter time, it's nice to have that extra little light and little glow with candles, little lights, lamps, and all of that and then just a little eucalyptus stem. I think it's really fun to decorate with fresh and real. So in my old bowl that I have next to my KitchenAid and next to my cutting board and marble, I have some green apples that a friend let us pick and I've been using them to make homemade applesauce. They're really tart to eat plain. The girls did not, my girls did not enjoy eating them plain. Uh, so I've been making some applesauce with them, freezing them, and they're just a really beautiful touch, and I love the green element for fall. But I'm really liking this um, offshoot of the whites and the creams and the greens that um, is somewhat trendy, but something that I think I really like in the woods and the coppers. And then I found this hearth and hand placement at our bin store on Dollar Day. I have one on my table too and I liked putting that there kind of like a towel then just with some of my faux pumpkins next to my amber uh, soap pump. Now I usually just have my soap on the counter but I love the classy amber bottle. It just looks so much better if your soap color is different than what you're wanting for ambiance for aesthetic in your kitchen. I think that amber color is wonderful. I got a two pack on Amazon, so I'll put anything I ordered from Amazon or similar to what I have um, in the description box for you. And then some, um, not sunflowers, the Black Eyed Susans that I still have blooming. It's a little touch, touch of that yellow and kind of mustard color there in my really small antique store ironstone pitcher that I think I paid too much for because I paid 10 for it, but it's really cute nonetheless. And then I still have practical items on my counter in my copper colander. It's tomato season heavy here in South Dakota. So I am ripening my tomatoes on the counter in that colander. And then I hung a hand towel just up on a nail on the rack there. And I just think it's so practical, but I love that minimal blue stripe on the towel and just nice to have a hand towel right by the sink. On the stove, of course, I have a beeswax candle burning. I always leave my 
cast iron on the stove along with my copper tea kettle because I have tea every night. I use my cast iron multiple times a day and so why tuck it away if it's gonna be used? And then my cutting board, my crock of spoons and butter on the side and a hand towel also on my stove because I have little girls who wash their hands here. So hand towels in multiple places is a necessity as well. And then to my table, I I kind of got a little inspiration from Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home. I think this was a few years back when she decorated like this, but I found this crock a long time ago at a garage sale for 50 cents and filled it with some apples. That other hearth in hand uh, magnolia tablecloth or placemat with some faux pumpkins. This really old wooden spoon that I found at an antique store and just kind of collaged it all together in the middle of the table and left it like that and I'm really liking that and it's just so simple. We have our table in the kitchen. We have a very small home so I just kind of want to pare it down, keep it simple. We can eat the apples. It's also that um, practical decor as well. Now then to my coffee station and my peg rack. So I'm really liking decorating my peg rack over by our espresso machine and I bought an apron off of Amazon. It was like $6. I'm liking the blue and white stripe. Kind of goes with my home decor anyways. Hung some hydrangeas to dry because right now they're green and you'll see that in my fall home tour that they're all green, they'll dry, and they'll be a beautiful brown color when they dry. And then this little hand broom that I got from our local Hutterite colony. And just loving that simplicity, yet practicality again, because brooms are necessary. I will use the hydrangeas. It's beautiful and practical, and I'll use the apron. So just making it very simple. And I think everyone should have an apron hanging in their kitchen. It's just it's such a way of saying I use this, but yet it's beautiful. And then having my latte in my fall leaf white mug that I found for 50 cents at an antique store is just something that I will be drinking here after I film this video for you. So my kitchen is what it is. We live in a 950 square foot home. Our kitchen is the heart of the home. I'm in here all the time. I just canned some tomatoes this morning. I decorated, uh, got some things ready so I could film it for you. And it's just a place I love and that I want to share with my family, with friends, and just keeping it very simple, leaving some counter space for prep and things to put on it for when I'm making food. It's very important to me to leave some space, but yet to have beauty where I can enjoy it as well. So there it is, my fall kitchen in greens and apples and thrifted decor.